Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Welcome back to Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome and definitely take a look around at our channel. If you love old movies, you've landed in the right spot because what we do here is watch them together from start to finish. Let's take a look at the wall of my living room, which is decorated like this just because old movies are important to me for the past 32 years. Okay, so quickly I just want to talk about kind of some weird things that I heard have kind of been going on YouTube wide for content creators this month in January because it definitely affected our channel. Look, I took it, I took the punches and I was rolling with it, but I literally just watched a video from a like 100 plus thousand subscriber channel that he felt the need to put out a little video to just explain some things that he became aware of that were problems with YouTube this month. And in all honesty, I think it could be some ongoing changes that YouTube is up to. So. Um, he mentioned, he was like, the views for this month went like nosedived. He's like, we always do great views. He's got a hundred plus thousand subscribers. So he's getting tens of thousands of views on his videos. As soon as they launch, they take off, they get the views that they need. I absolutely noticed that myself this month. I told you guys in December, in January, I was hitting you hard with like the biggest of the biggest crucial classics and I did not disappoint. I didn't slack on that. I hit you guys first title this month with Gone with the Wind. That one has performed Ah, uh, but everything else after that until we got to the big sleep it's like are you guys kidding me i got views on these videos this month as if i launched my channel in january of 2023 with sitting at like 20 subscribers um my videos haven't been performing like this for months on this channel so you know it's like hit or miss sometimes you guys are gonna like my personality my intro my whatever but like every single title this month to have performed the way that it did when this man came on with his hundreds of thousands of subscribers channel explaining how his views did this and he was able to reach out to YouTube and just kind of got some understanding that some stuff had happened with the algorithm but eh, I got a PSA video um, not I but this lady that has more than a million subscribers at the end of 2022 she had been able to take an in-person meeting with youtube because they were trying to offer her like a deal to do you know exclusive content creation with them and i mean she was talking to youtube and she came back from that meeting and did a psa video and she just explained major changes that are going to be going on with the pay model with youtube and how it's going to decline she's like you as content creators will see your same efforts your same views less money they're changing that they are you will also notice and i have it's permanently this little box on my home screen it's like hey ways to you know kind of like pay yourself they are highly recommending that you just really be verbal to your viewers to get more viewer support they're like offer your super chats offer your memberships offer your merchandise because if you want to kind of get by the way you've been getting by you're going to need to be diversifying your income versus what you've been getting up to this time here from youtube it's like the model is changing they've got a lot of competition the TikTok thing the shorter form content people's attention span is a minute max nowadays they're trying to keep up with shorts um but i feel like they're kind of seeing you know a lot of competition out here and i think there's just what you've been seeing this month google micro you know all of these places that have been the dream place to work for the past 30 years major layoffs and cuts so there has definitely been look i know that the end of uh, december for me was an anomaly because that's stupid i you guys know I don't really like that movie, It's a Wonderful Life, but it did like 19,000 views in two weeks in December. Of course, the, the, I guess going forward, that taught me a lesson. December will be a really good month for watch-along movies. Um, but, you know, good gosh to go from that performance to what we did this month. It, I was, I took it, like I said, I was like, let me just keep going. But I know I'm giving you guys Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn films. Are you effing kidding me? If you guys like classic films, that's required watching. All of the Paul Newman movies that we watched this month, uh, you know, it was just like, okay, I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to keep doing my weekly content. But damn, it's almost kind of like, what for? <laughs> and definitely. 
definitely the way that I told you guys that I am not going to be able to be relying on the income from this channel until possibly the end of 2023. We're going to have to just, God bless, pray on it, by con Dios, and see where we can get to. But I feel like we're going to need to give it most of the year 2023. Well, if it's going to be based on performance like this month, um, damn, is it going to be up into 2025? So... <laughs> It was just like, in a way, it made me feel better that this major channel felt the need to come on and just be very direct with his um, viewers as well, but it actually made me feel a little bit alarmed. Anyway, major tips that this man was offering is to just ask viewers to. If you have lost your notifications that you may have turned on, or if you never have turned on notifications, it would help if you could search out the channel by typing in Crucial Classics Movie Reactions. Find it in that way if you are kind of losing track of being updated on the content. Here's a tip. We upload on Saturdays and Tuesdays. I'm gonna have to go back to 40 hours a week. A-S-A-F-N-P, people. It's going to be happening um, February, okay? It's gotta happen in February. Uh, and we will, at that point, have to be scaled back to either Saturday or Sunday uploads. It'll be one, only one or the other. I will let you know. I'm thinking I may be moving it to Sundays just to give myself one day of kind of rest um, from putting in 40 in corporate, but I'm thinking just to not be burnt out that I will switch over our upload schedule to Sundays. But if you find that maybe you're not getting your notifications, just keep us in mind. Crucial Classics Movie Reactions. If you have to search for the channel again and come to it like that, um, watch my content, please. This is regardless of whatever is going on with YouTube. Understand what we do here on this channel is we watch the full movies from start to finish. I don't risk losing this channel by including any of the copyrighted material. I don't give an F if I would only be giving you 10 second clips throughout sections of the movie. That is highly a way to risk losing your entire channel. Major reaction channels have been lost by doing the really cool and every single reaction channel out here that you see format, okay? All of them are at any second risk of losing their channels and they maybe just don't know it. So I'm trying to keep this thing, no matter what we're doing with it, you know what I mean? And that means you guys have to have access to your copy of the film, a couple of things, right? You'll notice the thumbnails of my videos are the name of the movie and artwork from the movie. That's because please push play on any video on my channel intending to watch the film. You have to have access to the film. Check out my sister Pinterest page. Always a link in the description of every particular video taking you to the specific Pinterest board filled with pictures only from that film. Included in that board is where I can share any information about a location that I see the film is available if you want to be able to push play on exactly the same version that I watched. You can leave me out of where you get your copy from though. You guys are crucial classic connoisseurs. Do you own many of these films that we have watched? Please like the video again. I don't know if I've already said this, but that liking of the video is a very helpful free way that you can help support the channel. It alerts YouTube to uh, activate the algorithm, please. And don't just let this have to be a completely grassroots experience between me and you. Although I feel like it pretty much has been that so far, guys, and we're doing great, okay? We're in great shape. I just don't know if there was some type of a glitch in the system or if you guys just really didn't give an F this month, but... <laughs> Um, you know, there are ways that we can help get the YouTube algorithm doing its fair share in promoting our channel as well. And it's simply a free, please go out of your way to hit the up like button. If there is content on this channel that you find yourself, this is when I would ask you to really do it. Are you staying engaged? Did you watch until the end of the video? Because in every outro of mine, I ask you again at that point, I'm like, hey, do me a favor, please hit the like button. Especially if you're hearing my voice say this to you right now because that means you watch the whole effing video. Please like. And please take that mindset with you across all of YouTube. Everybody on here is working hard for their money, people. People are creating stellar, top-notch, professional-grade content, are they? Don't take that for granted, okay? Be generous. Like their freaking videos. It is a free, very important and helpful way. I mean, it, it makes such an impact, people. You can help out a channel even more by doing the like than the memberships and shit. So 
but as far as memberships and shit are concerned as well, I have a membership site. Um, $5 a month gives you access to exclusive films that we watch only over in that space, exactly the same content format. You bring your copy, we both push play. There's also every title on this YouTube channel is over there, over there because it'll be ad free forever. And Miss Jane, thank you. You will get your shout out thanks in every video because you are the person that has done the $2 rental to Roman Holiday. I told you every title on this channel is over there. She decided to rent Roman Holiday for $2 for 30 days of access. I hope you had a great experience. I have decided to create some digital products. I launched them at the end of last year because I was trying to be perfectly ready to go to launch a 20 2023 digital calendar. Now it's digital, but that just is because you guys get instant access to the file, print it, make it hard copy. I give you JPEGs, so picture files of my picture calendar. That's what it is. I want to show you the top of my wall again. Those biggest photos up at the very top there are from a one time movie star classic movie calendar that I got one time and all these years. It's a gap in the market, people. I'm filling in the gap. I'm giving you a calendar with 12 gorgeous stars, Cary Grant, Sydney Poitier, Liz Elizabeth Taylor, Betty Davis, Clark Gable, Marilyn Monroe, Katherine Hepburn, Robert Mitchum, Greta Garbo, Rita Hayworth, Paul Newman, and Humphrey Bogart in that order, each a star of the month, at least four photos per star. Most of them have six high resolution, beautiful, rare photos. So it is a photo calendar of classic movie stars, a perfect spot on gift for any classic film fanatic people that needs a calendar. For 2023 because it is a completely functional calendar with holidays included as well so that calendar is available i also became aware of a product on the market in 1939 which was a movie diary allowing you as the viewer to give your star rating to films and put in your comments and critique i also added some important prompts at the top to help you up your movie knowledge pay attention to key stats that run in the beginning of the credits who are the screenplay writers the producers and the studios Become a crucial classics connoisseur. Start to develop your own top 10 list. Who are your top 10 favorite studios? Your top 10 favorite screenwriters? Become a little bit more informed. Then also just, I love classic movie film photography. I've decorated my living room with it. I am giving you a 65 mega photo pack. Those photos from my calendar that I shrunk down to be a little montage. I've blown each one of them up into eight and a half by 11 size photos. I also have some Amazon products that I highly recommend because I use them in this house. Right now, the month of winter, I've got an electric blanket that I highly recommend. I have a space heater that I highly recommend. I also have this exact same footprint, a little personal air conditioning unit that I got by all of summer 2022 running, and I only ran my central air conditioning in this house three times. I've ran the central heating this winter one time. I will be saving hundreds of dollars on my energy bill throughout summer last year and winter this year and summer again this upcoming year. So things like that. I also have a 15 foot HDMI cable that I highly recommend. And then the coolest thing that I've recently found, and I keep forgetting to mention it, though it is linked in the description, a digital photo frame. Get my mega pack, get your little digital photo frame, and just let the pictures cycle through. 65 pictures would just be changing through your little digital frame people. That's the beauty of these being digital products. You get immediate access to them. There is no waiting for the Amazon man to deliver it. You get it immediately. If you would like to use it electronically, you can, but if you wanna print it out, you absolutely can do that as well. The photos support being blown up and printed out in high resolution. Um, let's see. The best ways to watch is everything on one screen, but you know what? Sometimes you're at a different place that you can't pull that off. Watch every movie on this channel available to push play on your phone. And then you would have the video of me going on someplace else on your TV. Really the only way that you would be needing to do that where you're watching the movie on your phone is if you only have access to YouTube on a TV and so the description links are not actively available to you then they're actively available to you on your phone. And what you would be able to do is launch the movie to play on your phone, but then you could just have me on your TV. That's really the only time that two devices are necessary, unless your other device is your laptop or tablet. That being the case, you could watch your the movie on either device, and I would suggest just watch it on your biggest device. Watch me on the phone, your movie on the laptop. Two devices, no fail way, can always work, but every movie has the access to be pushed play on. You can watch every movie with me. 
If you can do everything on one device, it is a connecting to your TV. Launch the video of me on one tab, the movie on another. Pull the movie to take up more of the screen, set it up the way you like on your laptop or your tablet, take an HDMI cable, plug it into your biggest screen TV. One screen, your biggest screen. The other thing is electronically wireless, and that's called casting. You cast your tablet or your laptop to your TV, push play on the movie, let it start to play so that any lag gets worked out, pause it, rewind it to zero, come back to this video of me. Play on TV, picture in picture, shrinks me, floats me, move me in a corner of the video. That is the intended way every time that I hope that you're doing this right. It's giving you the most enjoyable experience. You're watching it on your hugest screen TV. I'm touching the movie. Everything that I'm saying is real time applying to what you were on the exact same screen seeing with the movie. There's a little runtime timer in the corner of this video of me. That lets you know the hour, minute, and second that your playback of the movie should be for us to be in perfect sync. Those are the things that we do on this channel, how we do it, why we do it, the glitches that have been happening in the system. Perhaps you guys just were not as interested in the titles that we had this month, but like I said, I have access to the biggest titles in classic film history. We're going to be watching them on my member site or right here. I am not going to be skimping down on what we watch right here. Like I said, be on the lookout for Easter. We're going to be watching Ben-Hur. We've got Spartacus. We've got, those are just like the big major saga dramas that I have access to, but we have access to stuff in that caliber, people. There is no decline of the content programming that will be happening going forward into this year. It's just that your girl has got to be able to make a living. And so <laughs> this ain't it for right now. So I will be available on one day of the weekend going forward and it will hit in February. This is the last of my full-time availability to this channel. So we have this title right here which is a first time watch for me. The reason why I'm not looking up a thing about it because I don't want to spoil a thing about it for me. And then we have one more title that will hit on Tuesday of this upcoming week. It is a major, in my opinion, the best movie of John Wayne's. So that is what to be looking forward to and just yeah, keep us in mind and please give us the respectable watch time um, to do what we do on this channel correctly. Let me get things launched up and we'll push play. Okay, this is our final title of Star of the Month, Paul Newman. Um, wanted to let you know I really enjoyed letting you guys vote on this being the title that we were wrapping up our Star of the Month features with. I intend to be having a viewer pick a month um, and I need to Put that up as a poll closer to the beginning of the month and let us have the month for you guys to vote on it and then who, whatever title gets the most votes will be what we watch a viewer pick a month i want you guys to have some ownership on this channel um, there's limited ways that we can communicate because that's what we need for mental health privacy and protection of putting ourselves out on the internet you guys know what we do on this channel a little different than other channels but we absolutely can have you guys having some ownership and participation on the channel so i intend to have that viewer pick a month going forward. I have a runtime of 2 hours 9 and 16 seconds. Another long one. Um, but from the one thing that I did figure out about this movie, 1973, and at that point in time, it moved itself up into one of the top 10 grossing movies of all time and remained there until 1976. Because when it did that, it put itself up into the top 10 grossing movies of all time, along with Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Please watch that one, you guys. Let me just be reminding you guys of the titles that we had in January, which in no way are reflective of the very poor quality of views that we got this month. That again, I'm just hoping was a glitch in the system. We had, so for the month of January, like I told you, December of 2022, I told you guys I was hitting you hard in January of 2023 with the quality of A plus four star movies that we watched this month. Please circle back around and give these videos the deserved views that they they require, people. Because we've gotten to a place, like I said, of videos getting um, way the F more views than these have received so far. Gone with the wind probably top two of most classic film people's uh, best of all time lists. Woman of the Year! The first movie of Spencer and Tracy. Hello, people, please. Um, the Hustler from 1961, Oscar winner with Paul Newman. The Awful Truth, the movie that launches Cary Grant's career. 
Major in his and Irene Dunn's catalog, also an Oscar winner. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, one of the top 10 grossing movies of all time once it hit the market in 69 until 1976. And then here is the only movie that performed the way that we're used to having videos perform on this channel, The Big Sleep. But are you guys kidding me? With all of those other titles, the only one that did what it was supposed to do this month is The Big Sleep. You know what? That one came very close to the end of January. Maybe did YouTube figure out their glitch in the system? But please do me a favor and circle back around. Please do not neglect and let these major titles that we hit you with in the month of January be hovering around a couple hundred views. People, you know, I won't continue to do this channel with this type of performance on this quality of work that I'm doing, films that I'm bringing to your guys' attention that you have free access to. That's not going to continue to go forward. So this is the one that we were voted on to watch right now and here I go I'm going to push play in three two one click okay playing in three two one click what studio I have universal it I was like is there something wrong with the sound how cool it is legitimately the old school logo I love that in 73 Are they going to be so handsome in this again? George Ray Hill film. So. We've heard this music a lot. Is it from this movie? Henry Gondorf? <laughs> Johnny Hooker? Robert Shaw, I don't know that I've ever seen him again, or before. Oh, Ray Walston, yeah. Charles Durning, too, yeah. Is that, was it Durning? Eileen Brennan. Hey, I've seen these people. So this is from the 1930s. Speakeasy times. This is really giving us the intro like a movie from the 1930s when the talkies just came in how they would show you a little feature screen of each star with their name on it okay so julia illinois and during the depression yeah what are they in line for is this the salvation army it's kind of weird that it's in color being back in this time frame I didn't mean to sound threatening about how I won't do this channel. But guys, I mean, again, like I just tell you, content creators here on YouTube, we work so hard. This is video production. It's scheduling in the time. It's getting camera ready. It's being on and at it. We're working here. And nobody needs to have their work disrespected like that for that return of views. So again, it's like, this cannot be what I'm doing for my living. It's just real. I've got to get back out into the steady, stable paying rent place um I wouldn't it I couldn't disrespect myself of burning myself out on 40 hours of hard working mental capacity work still going hard at this for a very low return on investment is this a newspaper This, no, this isn't a newspaper. These are gambling houses. Oh, so he performed low. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you better not try an under-report of her, huh? <laughs> Gotta be well trusted, huh? Like, don't get held up. Don't. He said, don't even go like any a step out of your normal way. Is he gonna get held up? People know he has the money, huh? Oh, here comes Robert Redford. Well, you ain't got a little piece to break him off. Oh, they're friends. What's really going on here? Oh, uh, well, are you keeping it or? Okay. Well, he's sending him on his way. He said, give him all the money, put it in your. Is he running away? He's got all this money now. That's what I'm saying. Like, is he trust? Okay. Karma. Did Robert Redford do a switch, quick change on him? He did. Oh. <gasps> have no money yet. They got his. <laughs> Is it real? to get that much. Oh, they split up? How cute. In a way, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I was just thinking? That dude, though, is screwed, huh? Because I was like, can he be trusted to... 
he represented a whole gambling house that's in a syndicate that is very closely monitored for how much they turn in, and he screwed. <laughs> is that a cutout lady? Yeah, those cutout ladies. Oh, where is he going? He got flowers. He going to go see some stripper? Gypsy? Oh, okay. <laughs> 1973. Oh, because of this one time in the money that he got. Oh, he doesn't mind his women being like that on stage in front of everybody. Oh, she's not really about that. Isn't it for her? Sweet. Oh, is he going to come and gamble this money? Okay. Easy come, easy go, hooker. Oh, and he got a button to push. He lost the three thousand dollars. Oh no, he had to take it right then and there. <laughs> yeah, does he, was that all of it? suit he's wearing. I didn't pay attention to it, the costumes. Wow. Okay. Well, so that man is really screwed because now he can't even come Jack Robert Redford up for the money. Oh, he has a car? Is that him? That's not him. Is this this fool that lost the money? Does he have to be on the lam now? He's got to try and run home and grab his shit so he can leave town. Because he lost all this money. He just lives in a loft in Chicago. Is this, it feels like it's Chicago. Oh, this is their headquarters. And it's not that dude. Redford only lost three. Oh, I think it is Chicago and it goes all the way up to New York. Oh, somebody gonna get off time. Is Newman the big wig in New York? So yeah, 11,000.
And that fool, when he was on the phone, he was trying to say it was ten, and then he knew he better come up with all of it, so he shoved eleven thousand in that envelope. Okay, so no, that dude that lost the money was just all passed out someplace that that man found him. I got bad news to deliver. Huh? Oh, there's Flat Nose again. <laughs> He's in the Hustler. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Butch Cassidy. And right here. Chicago. Somebody is no longer going to be with us behind this, huh? Is he in danger? I mean, will he ever come across that dude again? Where this is his problem, too? So he does have some money to give to my brother because that's what I was going to say and a while back. It's like, oh, he doesn't have anything to split. <laughs> oh, big mama. <laughs> Is where they learned how to do it. She's going to church. Does he have any money left? It was 11000 evidently, right? And he blew three of it. Oh, he was in on it too. Okay, yeah. He had to have been. What's the matter with Martha? He knows it was more. Okay. Three. He's just disappointed. Oh. He's old. Huh? Well, he's old. Yeah. Facts. What is the big con? They need to stop using that word. Oh, he's leaving Chicago. So he's going to teach Robert Redford. So Paul Newman will teach him the big score, the big con, is that what they're calling it? The big con. Yeah, he's old. Let Pops retire.
blowing it three thousand, yeah. Oh, these are the cops. He knows who that is. Doyle Lanigan. Oh, and he knows that he did it. This dude knows. Mm. Oh, well, he lost it. This cop's gonna give him up. He has so many. I feel like perhaps I have seen a scene in this movie before. That felt a little familiar. Okay, well, corruption, you know, um, nothing to bat an eye at. What was that then? Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, you don't need to t take off. Does he need to leave town? Yeah. Because F, that he gave this dude money that he's going to immediately be able to tell is not right. And then he's going to give him up to who he really is in trouble with. Is he calling Paul Newman right now? Yeah, uh oh. Is he calling? Oh, uh, uh, they went and hurt Luther. He was calling Luther. <laughs> Her nickelback. Uh, I love this concern for Luther. I mean, and he was just all hurt that they had to split up. They threw him out the window.
Were they not quite in Chicago? Because Luther told him his friend was in Chicago. Redford is so freaking handsome. I just when I when he was right there, his freaking voice, and I was thinking of him in this property is condemned. Just he is on the come up at this point, huh? He has the best voice. It was hilarious at the end of Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. <laughs> Paul Newman says, you call that giving cover? <laughs> He's all, you call that running? So this is interesting. How many minutes are we into this movie? Almost half an hour, and are we getting Paul Newman yet? Where is he? <laughs> what? Go ahead and make that happen. Like, how passed out are you? Yeah, pretty passed out. <laughs> Is it cold? <laughs> Just turn it off yourself, right? <laughs> wow, Paul Newman! <laughs> He's not still. What's that for? <clears throat> uh oh, so he really is down and out. Oh, okay. So he could come back up. He's moving on. Yes. Yeah. He's after him. What is going on? Wow. Okay. Uh, flat nose. Okay. okay, let's just do a count. That's three now. Okay, 
Good for him. Yeah. Oh, this guy's totally Irish. Or Scottish. Okay, what's the answer? Is it all jacked up or something? Oh. <clears throat> so the answer is yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, a big liability. <laughs> it's little overalls. Oh, so he needs to chip in here. Oh, he does know. Oh, so you know who he is, too. Oh, so he's going to con him. Wow, that was an intense answer. That's how important this is to him. Paul Newman, you have an idea? Okay, well. <clears throat> well you probably should be. Okay, yeah. Well, how many do they need? All the respect to Luther. Why has Paul Newman already done a... Uh, what are they going to do? Is he looking shaggy right now? He doesn't want to get a manicure. <laughs> <laughs> don't cut too much off although you know what I'm saying it's like you know he is going to look fabulous I don't know oh mm -hmm. this is what um, Humphrey Bogart <laughs> was looking at <laughs> In the treasure of the Sierra Madre. He doesn't like it. Oh, these are his crew people coming in and he's building up his crew. Oh, he's got a man working at the bank too.
Oh, he just quit? Okay. Or, I don't, what did he do? He just quit. And he's leaving a little tracker for himself. He'll be able to tell if somebody has opened his door. I used to work with this lady who was all paranoid if people were going through her drawer. And she would leave a little string to be able to tell. Did we see Lanigan? Was that the guy that was on the phone in the very beginning? Is one of them, yeah, it's the guy that he... Oh, so he's trying to get on that guy in New York? He won't do it to that Irish guy. seeing her. No, because she runs this thing, huh? This is the other. This is way more than the little... <laughs> what is the thing for the kids? <laughs> merry-go-round? Ferris... It's not a Ferris wheel. Huh? It's a merry-go-round. Oh, this is that dude! He's looking for Redford. Oh. Is he going to leave? That Irish guy. He golfs. How are they going to get Lanigan through the Irish guy? Is she going to pick up the pace a bit to let these fools know?
can't climb the path to a penguin. Oh, he doesn't know how to do it yet. <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. So what, Newman's just really taking care of him, huh? The setup, the hook. Okay, so they're going to get Lanigan hooked on the train, the hook. Who is this? The cop, right? No, no, no. Okay. I don't know why I confused him for a second. It's being that corrupt cop. Oh, they have to have their own little, um, a den of inequity. Oh, so they're going to get Lanigan to come here and that Irish dude. Huh? He wants a percentage. Oh. <laughs> No, because he won't get his percentage. <laughs> Is this um, flat nose or who do we have here? Flat nose, right? The, okay, that looked like flat nose that they were pointing out. Oh, but if he can pay. Oh, he needs to give a little bit more. Yeah, okay. They're setting their sights on him on the train to lure him here. It's not Lanigan, though. Huh? The, who they're trying to get, that's not Lanigan, right? Or it is... They keep things written down. There is this cop again. Does anybody care? Everybody cares. Is it the cop?
It's the cop or the assassinator. No, yeah, that's the cop. Oh. <laughs> like, that's not totally obvious. <laughs> Is he gonna get it? Uh, he's gonna hit him up. Oh, uh, yeah, he was with him right there that night. He knows what he's talking about. Oh, does he get it in this movie too? What's his problem? He wasn't paying attention. I don't understand. So Gondorf has the feds on his ass. He said that to Robert Redford at first, but I don't understand what that means. He just needs to be really careful, right? I mean, like, who are the feds that are watching him? Yes, flat nose. Oh, and dude, this is... But that's not Lanigan, right? Or it is. I mean, that would make sense that his name would be Lanigan with that Irish, Scottish accent he had. This is Lanigan? Oh, she just took something from him, huh? Is Robert Redford getting in on the poker game too? Nice. Very nice, Robert Redford. I'm loving the 1940s of it. Is he throwing out his wallet? Let me not try and be a step ahead. Oh, now it's his? Is this the type of stuff he does not have time right now to teach Robert Redford? What? How in the world? That's Ace. All in the name of Luther, right? He's still got the Ace. Oh, no, he's a little scared. What is his end? Yeah, it's he's not in on this game. Oh, he wants to get started. 
this is vodka that he's using as alcohol and mouthwash. <laughs> Gin. <laughs> so he's not drunk, but he needs to look like he is. Okay, they're getting their little wire house set up. Is he on the list? He's hired. So, um, Newman is in here with this fool's money. And they said it's a gentleman's game, so that just means you don't have to show your money. <laughs> is that what makes it the gentleman's thing? appreciate this dude behind him. Looks like a psychopath. A dude behind him is looking at his cards, huh? If he can see them. Giving him eye signals if he can. Who's JJ? Oh, he stays covering himself up. Did he get his nose busted though? That's why. What is this for? <laughs> this is. Yeah, huh, yeah. Oh, what? I 
cover your mouth. People cover your effing mouth when you sneeze and cough in public. That is before, that's for all of your life, okay? Cannot stand it when cochinos cannot show public courtesy to do that shit. Ew. <laughs> Is he wearing a tie? Yet, yeah. uh, uh oh, he didn't even call him his name right. <laughs> Linaman. <laughs> So, okay, he's got to get a new deck of his counterfeit cards. So he just wants it between him and Newman. Oh, he got a whole other deck in his lap. That he just put in his pocket. Yeah, he really doesn't trust people being around him, huh? So it, that's three of a kind that Newman had? <clears throat> This fool doesn't have more than that in his hand right now. What he's just going to grab in his pocket to get another nine. Oh, so he just discarded the two that weren't his threes. Okay, four of a kind. Is that what it's called? Is it four of a kind? <laughs> a flesh, right? Okay. Because when it's like that, it's whatever the higher number is, right? <clears throat> and I'll raise you 2,000. Oh. And two thousand. Oh, it's a gentleman's game. This fool don't have no money, huh? Paul Newman has his money. No, oh, they're coming back to sit down. Oh, he's winning ten thousand on it. <laughs> Does he need to get like another three or something from somewhere? <laughs> But even at that, huh, um, there's no more threes in the deck, right? And his nines would beat his threes, right? Wouldn't it, in that case, it would be whatever the higher number is?
Four aces. He was giving him some type of eye signals on that he had um, three Z Lenneman. Uh oh, is the table getting flipped up? What's happening here? He doesn't have. How do you switch that out? Because he knew that um, a dude behind him was looking at his threes. <clears throat> hey. Nice. It's a nice time. It is a nice time just for the scenery. shot. Oh, he was sending a boy. Oh, now he's on the inside to take. Yeah, okay, well, he'd get you. If you weren't supposed to be doing it. <clears throat> yeah? What, because Shaw did you dirty? Uh, well, he's doing this all the time, right? This is how they hook them. He'll come to their little wire house. <clears throat> well, where is he supposed to live to get a lift home? So they're in Chicago now? This is where they started. It's all a part of the sting, right? It's good. It's good. I like it. I like it.
and Lanigan's down. Huh? Out and up. About taking over. Wolfville, you need your money back, right? So you're down. You're in. You're coming over to the little wire house now. This is where he lives, right? Evidently. No, he don't live here. <laughs> He's gonna go in and through the back of his building, right? He doesn't stay here. He let those fools take him where he is staying right now. I thought he was staying at this lady's little merry-go-round place. He's gonna get hit, huh? Oh, that is his place. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Those are the people, um, not Lanigan, or is it Lanigan? I mean, it's the first people that he did over. Lanigan? Yes, because he's trying to get Lanigan. And Lanigan was behind all of it. Oh, he's just all jacked up that he got shot up. They could tell something was the matter, so now this is the tail. The tail. Okay. Why are they closing the blinds of this office with the student here? Who's called? They lost me a little bit right there. Oh, this is the place where if dude don't show up by 145, he's not coming. So, okay, 
This is supposed to be Paul Newman's establishment. He's supposed to be big time. This whole thing is his. And that's why dude's gonna... That's why he had all that money on the train. And this is what he does. Oh, so he's not coming, right? Or is he about to walk in here right now? He said if he wasn't here by now, he wasn't coming. Is this one of the assassinators? Yeah, this is that really tall dude that he saw on the train. Why is he here? Because he's coming in first. I'll not break him. Yeah. Oh. Because this horse is going to win. What is it, like a one to two thousand <laughs> odd shot? <laughs> if you put two thousand dollars on it, you're going to make, what is it, <laughs> twenty thousand? I don't know, whatever the odds are. Oh, everything's always... <laughs> he gonna control that a horse is gonna win oh because it's a little fake wire thing so they can make whatever horse they say win <laughs> if you bet on it that's how they uh, rig this shit oh it'll be is it gonna be Paul Newman calling with the horse to bet it on it's this full up here in the window he's about to call he have to get a call? Is it... But then hurry up because you only have two to three minutes after you get the horse to go make the bed. You gotta go over into Paul Newman's little fake wire place to put the bed down. Yeah. <laughs> Click. Bruno and the fourth of Maragansa. Lamp. Is he gonna make it there in the, you know, only so many minutes? I mean, his walk is impaired. <sighs> what was that button? It buzzed. Paul Newman's office. Just too handsome. Doesn't she have some of her little ladies working? Some of the pros. Oh, that's dude. He's just talking into the. He's muffling a microphone. <laughs> Making it seem like he's out at a racetrack. Calling it like National Velvet. Oh, 
Oh, because this is Paul Newman's establishment wirehouse. Huh? Oh, he has the money? Because dude right there just gave it to him. Oh, the race just started. Wasn't it Bruno? Blue Note? Well, it's too late now, right? It's like the pie. Oh, and the, like, blue notes taken out in the lead. Okay, he won it by a nose. I don't be too obvious. Oh, he owes him money. You owe me money. Oh, that's the reason why he's been trying for two years to overtake his business. Huh? Oh, little flat nose stands up like he couldn't have made him leave if he didn't decide to just be doing it himself right now. Huh? He's bad. <laughs> oh, they just came in there, went their money, and left. Um, he doesn't owe Newman any money. He wasn't able to pay him. He lives in a nicer place now. Oh no, he's coming to see this fall. This is the way this dude eats breakfast. All in his silk robe, all very civilized with his knife and fork. Uh, he stays in a nice hotel. You're what? Gross, he eats harder. <laughs> I mean, he is eating his food and looking like he's enjoying the meal.
you quitting friend. Is it, is, Flat Nose didn't have a line in um, <laughs> The Hustler. <laughs> That's just hilarious. He and Paul Newman obviously hit it off in that movie and just kept getting him cast in these ongoing crucial classics. Who was that? One of the assassinators. All right. Ooh, it's the cop. Okay. Oh, well, that's right. Sometimes you gotta fight back. And run for your life and don't stop running oh this fool had a car is he by himself yes cuz he's so corrupt What is this, a ferry or something? Where is he going? Oh, the L train or whatever it's called. This fool has his gun out. Well, he's a cop. He can have it, right? Okay, yeah, Robert Redford, be careful. You know this fool will shoot at you. Is this supposed to be in the 1920s? Because it's way too rag time to be in any other appropriate time frame. Well, why don't you shoot your gun, Paul? It was 1936, huh? They said that in the beginning. Well... You knew about Snyder from when she came and told you. Uh, because those fools tried to shoot him and he didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's saying. It's like, full look out a little bit for your friends, too, though. Because, like, you kind of got Luther into the same jam, full. So now this is the wire. In that way, you know what I mean? It, 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 he does need to become a little bit more aware of that. Like, whatever is his trouble is he's got people connected to him. They are in it as much as he is. As long as, you know... They're riding with him. They can be collateral damage. You know that cop wouldn't give an F. Okay, well, he mostly covered his mouth. People, that is so nasty. Do you not be that person in office that is <coughs> Just putting your shit on people. Have home training. <coughs> it's actually right here, people. It is right here, okay? Because then that way your hands aren't coming onto the surface that people have to be behind you and catch your shit in that way. He's trying to holler at her. This is his lady now. He was trying to holler at her. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. 
he could holler at you. What was he doing that for? Oh, a little Western Union shop. Oh, he's gonna get that lady to fake. How do they know Mr. Harmon works there? We mentioned this in the Thomas Crown Affair. It's like certain things that can be gotten away with because you're just not a problem, right? <laughs> Just not a problem, right? <laughs> it is what it is, people. It's going down right now. <laughs> He's just taking off his overalls. <laughs> oh, gosh. This is um, Robert Redford's Connect. At three o'clock, they're gonna be here. <laughs> now this is the wire stage of it. Yeah, okay. This is where the wire stuff happens. No, that wasn't supposed to happen. They're not knocking on the door. All he has to do is switch out a picture real quick. Oh, he'll put it up. Oh, um, shot. Lamigan runs it, right? <laughs> so he thinks. Who's this? The corrupt cop and...
pet. <clears throat> what did he dip his hands in that water for him? Are these really fits? Or is Paul Newman handling this? But the feds were after Paul Newman too. And I did say wet feds. Oh, he just needs to sit down and shut up. Oh, you probably better not get too smart, huh? Yeah, too cute. twist what's it gonna do he's loyal he's not a rat huh? he's he'll, they're gonna get over on the feds So these are real results. <clears throat> but what did he say like if he if it's 15,000 they can't cover it why? There you use real money. I went to the dog track with my grandpa. You can win like that just to show. You just bet on somebody to show. And my grandpa, we would win, people. My grandpa would bet for me, but we would just use little numbers. He even took my little nine years younger than me sister one time. We could get in there. It wasn't illegal. 
But we, of course we couldn't bet, but he was like, let's bet on your ages. So I'm nine years older than my sister. I was 16, she was seven. And he just went and bet all different kinds, six to show, win. And we, he then came with little envelopes for us with our money. We, shoot, I got a hundred bucks in my envelope. My sister got her little break off too. My papa <laughs> knew how to gamble at the dog track at anywhere. <laughs> That was obviously not the only time that I went with him. We would go to the dog track. They didn't have like a horse track by us. Oh, is it gonna flip out? Okay, they just saved themselves what's he looking so hard for What does that mean? So he's convinced, right? are going to come to him and make him have to give up Paul uh, This is who he's trying to holler at. I mean, I'm just, this is Paul um, Newman's sidekick, Robert Ruffer. I just, uh, please. He's had Natalie with, I mean, I'm just, come on, people, for real? I have a problem. I'm petty. <laughs> I have a problem with this. Oh, he's gonna go out? Robert Redford always goes out the front door. Huh? <gasps> Is it the feds? Why did he do that? He just was giving her time to get out of there safely, huh? <gasps> he was looking out for that lady. She saved him. She changed the plan, huh? Because he told her to, um, didn't he tell her to go out the window? Oh, no. 
not know that I'm prepared to see anything happen to him. I am very suspenseful for the ending here. I don't know that we're anywhere near it, but get him! Have something. You picked something up. Whack him! Get him, get him, get him! We have somebody. Oh, well. What the hizzle? My little heater made it a little too warm in here. <laughs> oh yeah, he had to get him to bring him to the feds. <clears throat> He's not going to give up Paul Newman, so it's just interesting to, what's going to work out here. That's it. Okay, Paul Newman already had to say, hey, punk, let your friends know sometimes when you have shit going on. Don't always be putting us on the spot. They're likely to miss you and get me. So now would be the time, like, full. you're going to have to go back and tell Paul Newman that what they need you to do to bust him. So that y'all put your heads together and get over on Lanigan and the feds. I need to see this. He already knows that the feds are after Wardrofe or whatever his name is, right? Y'all know I never remember names. Gudruff, what is it? <laughs> What's his name? Because he set it up. It's as serious as that, full. Yeah. Just bragging about it. Alright, well then do it without him. And let him go. Lanigan. He's 
was just making sure everybody else is going to get out. Yeah. Oh. This is that one right? Go around. This is Bunko that they're playing. You can pay them off. This music. So tomorrow he could get out. <clears throat> He's not wired. Literally, these girls just wanted to go get on the merry-go-round. Did I leave him a note? Something? Yeah, I mean, he pulled him in because of Luther. Everybody's on board of this because of Luther. They got their whole crew together because of Luther. He's just going to take a bullet at him. I'm just noticing these three white letters on this pillar. What the fuck is that about? He's very lonely, huh? Alone. But I feel like the word is lonely, not just alone. This chick lives right above the place. What did she have to go outside for to get to her apartment then? This is a good, good, good movie, people. I like this way better than Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. I wouldn't answer my door at this time of night. I don't even think I would come to the peephole. And she doesn't seem to have one. Looks like you're just opening the door. She's nosy. Give her a name, his name. I 
I'm just so sorry I needed better casting for that. Please. So, things are supposed to be going down tomorrow, and then he was packing up to be able to go on to his next thing. He was needing to get out of this town. Who's watching him? Oh yeah, because somebody didn't. Yeah. Oh, this, this person has their gloves on inside of their own space. <laughs> the sting. Oh. That person did in who Robert Redford originally effed over by stealing the drop off that was who was trying to get him and that person got it and that person was brought in by Lanigan did Lanigan do him in they have been saying Lanigan handles everybody and he Lanigan was the one saying that that what was his name let's call him Salezzo from um the godfather but that you know he was one of the best like the head of something in new york well, he was wondering if those checks took his money that was the most important thing to him <laughs> she's making him breakfast right um lanigan tries to take everybody's territory so he brought dude in to really handle tracking down robert redford and then he, I, yeah, this is Lanigan, right? Oh, a silencer is never good news. Here's the half a million. Okay, I guess it isn't Lanigan. Because he's a banker. So yeah, Lanigan's in on this. Okay, so we have not seen this person so far. For two thousand dollars and not being able to bet on a win of fifteen thousand. This dude that just left the room didn't see Robert Redford in that alley when he got Salezzo and so he's Lanigan's hired man. But that's still the way that Lanigan's accomplishing that now Salezzo's territory is now Lanigan's. So one last forlorn look at the merry-go-round that they won't be coming back to. Oh, that lady will, but he won't. Because it's all going down now. So he went, had breakfast. Full's just supposed to be able to bet in time, right? Like, he's got to bring the half a million in and get it on before the race starts. And it's Robert Redford's job to make sure that he gets his slow ass there on time. And the feds just need to let him get over on Lanigan before they move in. Where? 
the merry-go-round? What does he have in this suitcase? Everything he owns? He's clearing out too after this is over? Does this dude know him? He's pulling the same crap with this girl against that dude. Well, that fool did Salino. Yeah. Gotta be up and kidding me. Perfection, people. I thank you for voting this one. Lanigan, yeah. His mark is Lanigan, a big time New York banker. Get him out quickly. Her name is Selino, so she was what, Selino's wife when he got it in the alley? By that dude, hired by Gondorf. Oh, he's like a lot bigger time than we appreciated. Why is he acting all shocked? He's got to act right now. Oh, that's... I thought that was flat nose. Robert Redford, you don't have a favor to return to homeboy right now? I mean, figure something out. You're not wired. He's just going to take a bullet, huh? Oh, so they don't know yet what horse to bet on for the half a million? So this fool's just right across the street. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. He just has to be told what horse to bet on, but he seriously thinks he can walk up into this shit with 500... Oh, there's no betting or placing and showing and shit. It's just to win. Okay, yeah, run, run, run. Get it over there in time. And legit, he can come in there with half a million and they can cover his bet. All of this pushing the button, what is that to do? Open the door? Because he has just been coming in the door every time. Okay, we'll rush it over to the window. You know you have a walking impairment. Pick up the pace a bit. They can't cover it. Yeah, he needs authorization, right? This Newman. Oh, 
oh, now all of a sudden he has money when he didn't have the 20000 that he owes Newman. Is Newman about to come take a stack out? <laughs> Oh, so now he has to take the bet. Now he has to cover it. Two million. Does he have it? Oh, it's like that then. Those were betting words. Um, Why the full walk away? So he won't win. Oh, yeah. He supposedly knows this dude, huh? That's the wire man. It's going down. Let's pay attention. Snyder, who's Snyder? Those were like blanks for him, right? Paul Newman didn't really get him. I don't believe this. Was this dude not really the feds? They're not. Okay, you can stop acting now, huh? <laughs> I did it. I wasn't having that. I was not prepared for anything to happen to Robert Redford, and no, I was not having it that something was happening to Newman, too. Where's Boudreaux? Is it really okay? Is it, they're gonna. 
gonna get it as soon as they walk out the door. Yeah, you know you would. He hasn't learned his lesson better than that by now. Is this the safe end of the movie? People it will not breathe easy until I'm seeing credits. follow to and we are safe oh yay now I get it now I get these two a lot better I think you start with this one and work your way back to Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid I don't know there was something about that that didn't land as this one did of credits um oh is this maybe where I'm gonna see who did the costumes because I didn't recall seeing that in the beginning <gasps> I loved it cosmetics are by cinematic worth watching until the color is by Technicolor oh my goodness yay you guys have the best taste this was hands down over um, cool hand Luke <laughs> uh, we've got about 30 seconds of credits to go let me just let it run By now, I wish I knew who Flat Nose was, um, what his real name is. Oh, okay. Yay, you guys. Perfection. You guys have the best. You are my connoisseurs. That's the reason why you are going to be choosing a movie a month. And um, just tune in. This coming Tuesday, I'm going to hit you guys on Tuesday, our final title for January. And it is, in, like I said, my opinion, uh, John Wayne's best movie. So we will see you then. Love you guys. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Hey, hit that thumbs up button for me, especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now. <laughs> you watched to the end. Um, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.